I'm Action Jackson, and welcome to your banded arms workout. So grab your light booty band, and we're gonna burn up those arms. Let's go. Grab your light booty band, meet me down on the mat, and we're going to do 10 different exercises. Follow along, you don't need to know anything, but we're gonna just do interval style. So we're gonna start here in bear. So you're in all fours position. You just simply lift up your knees. You're gonna crawl forward twice, and then you're gonna crawl backwards twice, okay? We're gonna take a five second break in between each, each exercise, and that's when I'll explain the next one, because I want us to get right into the workout right away. Let's not waste any time at all. I know you guys are busy, so let's get into it. Let's start with our first one. It's gonna be bare, and let's go. So two back, and then two forward. The whole purpose here is to make sure that you are um, keeping a good tension in the band. So you want to make sure that the hands don't come towards each other. So you're going to feel the whole body turn on here. This looks a lot easier than it is, right? I'm sure you're already experiencing that. So keep that core tight. Keep those hands separated. <sighs> nice. You want to feel like you're balancing a tray on your back. Okay, so now we're going to start um, in high plank. You're going to slowly step to the side, in, and then go to the other side. So just little side steps. I want you to control on the way in. Control on the way in, good. So yeah, we are also using our core a ton here. So if you need to put the knees down, definitely just modify there. That's a great modification. Whew. You're gonna feel those shoulders work a lot, but really control on the way in, okay? Okay, little breather, wow already burning and dying. Come onto your knees, we're gonna do tricep push-ups right here. Lower down and lift. Lower and lift. This is a great arm toning one. Oh my gosh. 10 minutes is all you need to really change your body. So I'm challenging you to do this for seven days in a row. Good, lower and lift. And you're gonna notice a big difference in the way you stand, the way you feel in your body. Good, lower and lift. Okay, a little breather. And we're gonna take our, we're gonna come back to the high plank pose, grab onto the band, and you're going to now press it back like a tricep extension. Reach and down, reach and down, good. Reach and reach, good. So a good tricep extension. Again, if you need to put the knees down, great modification, but just make sure that you're keeping the booty down in line with the shoulders, okay? Extend, Whew. definitely good core work. I feel the burn, keep it going, that's what you want. Okay, little breather. Take the band behind your back now, and you're gonna have the palms facing towards each other, and you're gonna do a little bend and in. Bend and in, bend and in, good. In, so you're gonna feel that back work a lot. Try to get the tension out of the, the traps. All right, keep the back as straight as possible. Good, so this might be a lot just from kind of stretching out the front of the pecs. Woo, pretty good, right? All right, keep going and rest. Let's stand all the way up. We're gonna take the band behind us so the palms are facing out and you're gonna press and press and press. Stay on one side, press and press. So again, this is a great uh, exercise for your posture. Look at how open your chest is and you're pressing, pressing. So that's why I'm using the lighter band on these because it's a lot. <laughs> so you're pressing using the shoulders, keeping that core nice and tight. Good, keep going. I know it might take a few times to kind of get used to the bands like this if you've never used it before, but it gets easier. Okay, little break. We're gonna go to the other side. Whew. Okay, good, other way. Lots of shoulder work. Have a nice steady core here. Press and press. You just wanna stay in control of the band, okay? That's the whole goal, is to even move a little bit slower so you can stay in control. Don't let it kinda of jerk you around, all right? You gotta show the band who's boss. Okay, press and press. Nice. Keep this other hand nice and um, still. Three, two, one, and zero. Okay, good. So now we're gonna have the hands face each other. You're gonna go in a little uh, 90 degree angle, like little Barbie arms. And then we're just gonna come up overhead like this and lower down. But keep the tension here. So keep pressing into the band, 
keep pressing, but notice my elbows are in line with my shoulders, my elbows are not flared out, okay? Stay right there. This is also really good for posture, shoulder work, and if you guys who are working on your handstands, whew, this is always really good to keep this, this form here. Okay, so now we're gonna have the palms facing out. Okay, so notice where my hands are. And you're gonna press side and press diagonal. Press side, diagonal, good. Side, you can get kinda groove with it. You got your music going. Side, diagonal, side, diagonal, good. And guess what? We're gonna do all of these exercises one more time because I believe in you and I know that on the second time around, it's gonna feel so much easier just because you're more comfortable with the moves. So, whew, take a little breather. We've got the left side, and then yes, we're gonna do the whole thing again. Only because I believe in you, that's why. Here we go, side, diagonal, side, diagonal, good. You can kind of move your whole body with it. I love working my arms like this because it really tones up my arms, creates good lean muscle definition, it doesn't bulk them up, and because I like having, you know, nice toned but strong lean arms. Okay, kind of lost track with my talking, but little five second break, we're going back to the beginning, starting with bear, put the band around the, the wrist, let's go two steps forward, and then two steps back. Take a break when you need to, which is great. This is a video, so you can always just pause. But just make sure you push play again, okay? Don't leave me hanging. Come back if you push pause. And make sure you finish the workout, okay? It's just 10 minutes of your day. I know you can do it. And afterwards, you'll feel so transformed, refreshed, renewed. Oh, little breather. Whew, it's a good one. It's really good to just build that whole upper body strength. Let's go. And if you can always take the band off for a lot of these and they'll still be pretty challenging. Now make sure here that you're going slow on the way in. Nice and slow, good. Feel that core working as well. Stay really strong throughout the core, through the back, good. We've got our tricep push-ups on deck. Whew, definitely gonna do those on my knees. Okay, let's go. Knees down, let's go. Down and up. I'd rather you do these slowly than quick so you can really get into the muscles. When you move slower, you have to work the muscles in a completely different way because you're resisting gravity on the way down, right? If you just go fast, you're kind of just letting gravity do the work for you, but I want you to actually resist on the way down and then push up, good. You'll get so much stronger that way. All right, high plank tricep extension. Make sure that you're holding on to the band like this so you can extend back. Extend, down, extend. Whew. These are good ones for sure. I always like making my workouts for you a little bit more challenging, right? So there's something that you can work towards. So when you come back to this workout, you can feel yourself getting stronger and you have somewhere to go. You're making progress every time you work out with me. Oh, man. Okay, take the band behind you. Let's do tricep extensions right here. It might be enough for you to just hold the band here, but if you wanna add that little bend, go ahead and add the bend. I see so many people with hunched backs, rolled rounded shoulders. This is gonna definitely fix that. So get that back nice and straight, almost like you have a little arch in the back. Good, so we always wanna be moving in the opposite direction, right, of where, where we're always moving, which is rounded. So this is a good one for that. Okay. So now we're gonna take the band behind us. Here we go, wait, no. Keep going. Here we go, I got it. And press, and press. Really press. I want you to control on the way in. Control on the way in, there you go. Keep that core tight. Feel that back lengthening. It's getting stronger. You're gonna walk out of this workout feeling so proud, 
so confident, so beautiful, so you, right? Workouts always make me feel like myself again. Okay, press and press. Don't forget to breathe. Keep the other hand nice and steady. We've just got a few more exercises left. Finish it strong. And rest. Okay, now it's time for our Barbie arms. So let's put a good amount of tension into the band here. Arms are at 90 degrees. Lift up and lower down. Keep that tension the whole time. Check out your posture. Make sure that you're really letting the shoulders do the work and not the traps, right? So you don't wanna get up into this. Soften down through the back and just let the arms do the work. All right, just two more exercises left. Side diagonal, let's go. Working a little bit of the biceps here. So this workout really does get everything in the upper body. Shoulders, triceps, biceps, good, keep going. side. Last one right here and let's go. Congratulations, I'm so proud of you. Make sure that you shake those arms out and keep doing this workout so you can get stronger every day.